Hey everybody, welcome to Technology and Toys, and today's video, if you haven't been able to tell already, is about the Apple Watch. Uh, I have two products, both from the same company, that we're going to take a look at today, and they are Apple Watch bands. And they are replacement watch bands for your Apple Watch if the sport loop band is not fashionable or stylish enough for you, if you're a trendsetter you need something a bit more flashy. The first one we're gonna be taking a look at is the Genuine Leather Apple Watch Band from Cades. Um, as the name might suggest, it's made of genuine leather. Uh, they make a 42 and 38 millimeter variation for this. I got the 42 millimeter because I have a 42 millimeter Apple Watch. You take it out of its little foam casing You undo it, and it's more of a uh, traditional watch band for people that have used watches that are not smart watches before. And I'm gonna show you how to install it. Now to take the current bands off of your Apple Watch, there's a little button right here that you wanna press in. Keep pressed in and then slide the band out and it will come out and then you do it again on the other side and it comes up. And then to put the new band on, you simply line it up with the little groove, slide it until it clicks, and now it's secured and it's not gonna go anywhere. Again, click, and now you've got a new watch band. So I'm gonna put it on, put it on off camera so I don't knock everything over. And with it on, it uh, looks pretty nice. The only thing that I complain about about this, and this is like, really 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 nitpicky but it bothers me is if you have anything that's not silver it's gonna look a little different because the clasp attachment for the band is silver and then very clearly my apple watch is not silver again nitpicky but it's there so if you have a gold or a rose gold one it's gonna be something that you may and may not notice but on the wrist, it feels nice. When you get it new, uh, you're going to have to essentially break it in. Uh, kind of like a new shoe. You have to like soften up the leather and uh, it might take a couple days. It feels nice, it's comfortable. Um, I have had these little loops over here bite me a couple times and I've had some scratches on my wrist because of it. But it's not really a big deal that's probably just me being stupid about how I'm wearing my watch now you can find this for about 10 bucks right now on Amazon and uh, it's pretty cheap uh, I don't have the Apple equivalent watch band to this and the one I'm about to show you so I can't compare it directly to first party bands but for the price and for how it's held up over the past couple weeks this is a really really nice watch band um, if you're into the leather kind of look definitely go check this out I think they have a couple different colors so link will be down in the description below go check it out go buy it if you're interested and uh, I'm gonna take this one off and we're gonna take a look at the next one so the next band we're gonna take a look at is also from Cades it's a solid stainless steel uh, link bracelet and they come in a couple different colors I got the black one because it matches my Space Gray Apple Watch more than the silver one would. I got the black one because it matches my Space Gray watch more than the silver one would. And if this looks a little small for your wrist, it's probably because it is. Comes with a couple more links and they come on the watch band itself. You take them off, which I would show you. I'm honestly gonna end up like ruining this and messing up like I did for a while, so. In this little bag, you get a little uh, pin prick, and then you push it in to the holes on the side of the, the links. And there's a little spring bar inside. I would show you, but like, I really, really like this, and I use this every day, pretty much, and I don't wanna ruin it. And the clasp on it is a butterfly clasp. You pinch in on the sides, it comes out on both sides, and then to reattach them, you just push down push down and there you go so to put it on your watch again you just line it up and slide line it up and slide and then make sure it's locked in 
and you uh, put it on your wrist and uh, close the clasp. And that's what it looks like, except for these little scuffs because I'm a semi-clumsy person and rub up against a couple things throughout the day. It's really nice. It, it's heavy compared to your traditional sport loop. Uh, it took me a little while to get used to, but now that I'm used to it, it's, it's really comfortable. One thing that I'd like to point out, again, really, really nitpicky, but that's kind of what I do, is if you look closely, the, um, the part where the band attaches to the Apple Watch isn't flush with the side of it and that's on both sides. Again, it doesn't matter. It's not gonna be a make or break for most people, but it is a thing. Uh, kinda bothers me, but that's because I have OCD and that's the whole thing. Out of the leather one that I just showed you, which is over there, and uh, this one, I definitely like this one a bit more. Uh, it also costs a bit more. It's $22.99 right now. I'll have that link down below as well. But personally, I feel it's worth it. It's a bit more durable than leather will be. Leather is pretty durable on its own, but this is probably going to be a bit more durable. It's solid stainless steel. So that's the stainless steel link bracelet and genuine leather strap from Cades for your Apple Watch. Of the three, they're in order one, two, three, uh, and these two are pretty much tied for second place. I do like this one a lot more than the others, but these are still really good bands. They make both of these bands in 38 and 42 millimeter variants for both sizes of Apple Watch and it works with the Apple Watch Sport Edition Series 1, 2, 3, probably gonna work with the upcoming Series 4 and they're really cheap compared to the Apple equivalents but they're also really high quality. I would assume about the same quality as the Apple equivalents for these. If you're looking for new Apple Watch bands and you're not looking to break the bank, third parties are definitely the way to go. And uh, Cades is definitely one that you should take a look at. Guys, that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe as well as turning on notifications so that way you get notified whenever I upload another video. This has been Jake from Technology and Toys. Until the next video, goodbye.